security case. May I speak to Lucinda, please? Well, is she on vacation? I've left a lot of messages and she hasn't gotten back to me. I haven't had an audition in a long time and I'm getting kind of worried. What do you mean she's dropping me? She can't drop me. I haven't even gotten any work yet. What do you mean that's the point? I... Hello? Hello? I can't believe it. The only agent who would even talk to me just dropped me. Well, look at it this way, Charity. There's probably a really good reason why all this is happening. Oh, really? And what's that? Because you suck. <laughs> oh, well, don't worry, Charity. I'm sure you'll get another agent someday. I mean, not right away or anything, but definitely someday. You know, down the road a long time. Maybe after some acting lessons. Shut it, Barney. Wait a minute. You studied interdimensional portals in college, didn't you? Well, sure, but... Somewhere out there, there must be a dimension where I could actually get my own TV show, right? In theory, every possible outcome is occurring in a parallel dimension of reality, sure, but... And you could send me to that dimension, right? I don't know, Charity. I mean, it's awful dangerous. For starters, you might never come back. Why would I ever want to come back here if I had my own TV show? But Charity, they probably already have their own Charity case. I will kill her with my bare teeth. Freaky Bar. Hi, Johnny Johnny Mildly Irritating. Hi, Cha-Cha. I swear, it's so hot outside, Johnny Johnny Mildly Irritating. Why, it's so hot that I think I might have heat stroke. That can't be good. In fact, it can only be bad. It's true that heat stroke is just no fun. It's no laughing matter. Cha-Cha, for you I'm going to prescribe the suntan lotion. Ew! Oh, don't worry, Cha-Cha. You'll see what I mean as soon as you finish smearing this drink all over yourself. Johnny, Johnny Mild Irritating, tell us what's in a suntan lotion. Sure thing, Dr. Roger. A suntan lotion is one ounce Maker's Mark, one ounce Gosling's Black Steel, one ounce Karma Liqueur, two ounce Slow Gin, one half ounce Triple Sec, a splash of DeSarono, two thirds ounce Johnny Walker Red Label, one half ounce Peach Vodka, another three ounce one of ounce Makers, Creme de Banana, three ounce all of the, the gin you have lemon juice from a bottle, not from an actual lemon, you f savages. Four cups of sugar, half gallon of Blood and Mary mix, no wait, one half gallon of whiskey, a sour jigger of flat cups, a little bit of sugar, a half shot of whatever a few the hell cherries, some good old fashioned radioactive, a splash waste. of hot sauce, some of never mind that, two ounce olive oil, two gallons, one hundred percent, more juice. vodka, a bottle of beer, don't forget the bucket. Freaky bar. There you go, Cha-Cha. A classic suntan lotion just for you. Now, would you like some privacy while you smear it all over yourself? You were serious? But that would just be freaky. <laughs> Whoa, okay. And now it's time to check the freaky mailbag. Christina from Iowa writes, Where do babies come from? That's a wonderful question, Christina. And you were right not to trust your parents to give you a straight answer. Instead, we think it'd be a lot freakier to have our own Miss Cha-Cha give you a quick demonstration. Cha-Cha, take it away. this anymore. Cut! I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. No, it is not ridiculous. It is freaky. There is a difference. But I can hardly walk in this fat suit. It's so heavy. What'd you put in here? An actual baby? You did not put an actual baby in this fat suit! Charity, has anyone ever explained to you the concept of freaky before? 
It's not a human baby, Charity. It's a, it's a cute little baby piggy. That does it. I am so out of here. <laughs> Let me remind you, Miss Charity, case of a certain little item known as your contract. My contract does not require me to demonstrate the principles of pregnancy to five-year-olds by delivering baby piggies on camera. Actually, Miss Case, it specifies exactly that. Later this season, you'll be expected to surgically modify your face to resemble the hind end of a baboon. Freaky. Let me be clear. I want you back on the set in five minutes, and this time I want you shimmying instead of waddling. I have an idea, actually. I could give the giving birth demonstration. I mean, I kind of like little baby piggies. That and... would not be freaky. That would just be disgusting. Oh. There you are. Help me out of this so I can relax for a minute. <sighs> well, if it's any consolation, Charity, I thought you looked real nice in a baby piggy suit. Shut it, Bernie. I thought it was bad when they made me eat 14 jars of mayonnaise, but this is too much. Wait a minute. You studied interdimensional portals in college before you became the debased assistant of a famous actress, didn't you? Well, sure, but... I... Somewhere out there, there must be a dimension where I could actually be free of this TV show. Right? Well, in theory, every possible outcome is occurring in a parallel dimension of reality, sure, but- And you could send me to that dimension, right? <laughs> I hope I did the right thing, Jasper. She made her choice, Bonnie. I'm afraid she'll have to live with it. Charity! I didn't expect you back so soon. How was your trip? There are no cameras here. There's no piggy suit. I'm free! I'm finally free! Charity? What on earth are you talking about? Are you odd, Charity Case? Or are you some sort of interdimensional doppelganger of Charity? I think I'm that... I think I'm that thing you just said with the doppel who's it. Oh. Freaky. Sure thing, Dr. Roger.